Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are uh, talking right now with Brandon Chibley from GameDayInsiders.com, uh, who's done videos with us for quite a number of years now and um, has, has had a very profitable record overall, particularly in college football. And he's chosen uh, another game. He already gave us a pick on uh, Alabama, Wisconsin. You can see that video at SBR Videos. He's also going to give us a pick on uh, Michigan State, Western Michigan, a week one game. Brandon Chibley from GameDayInsiders.com. Are you uh, looking forward? Do you think you're going to have a profitable year this year in college football? I know I I am, Peter. I know I am. Last year we hit 65.6% in college football. Looking at another big week in week one. Been studying all summer long, getting ready to make my clients some money along with myself, Peter. You can go to gamedayinsiders.com, click on my football special right there on the home page. Mention you saw me on SBR sports videos, and I'll give you a hundred dollars off. So that's what we're going to do, Peter. Season kicks off soon, making lots of money. Sounds great, Brandon. All right, well, you chose uh, Michigan State, Western Michigan to cover here, and I think I know what your pick is going to be in this one. Western Michigan is at home this one. They're an 18-and-a-half-point underdog. Michigan State has Oregon the week after this game. Uh, in 2013, Western Michigan was at home against uh, – uh, uh, Michigan State was at home against Western Michigan. They were a 27-and-a-half-point favorite. They won just 26-13. I know you're going to pick uh, Western Michigan plus 18 and a half. That's got to be your pick. Brandon Chively, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, talk to you again very soon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, let's hear what you have to say about this game. But I am 100% sure that you're picking this one as Western Michigan plus 18 and a half. Right, Brandon? Yeah, you did. Hey, you, you nailed it, Peter. It's Western Michigan there all day long. Uh, you know, I like the 18 and a half. I'll get into why I like Western Michigan. But I like this number as well, 18 and a half, you know. 17, 18 if they lose by, which are football numbers. Uh, we still cover with the 18 and a half. But I do, I like the Western Michigan team. This game's being played on a Friday, which Western Michigan, they're used to playing on Fridays, uh, playing in the MAC. I can't remember the first last time uh, Michigan State played on a Friday. So I'll give them that advantage there. I'll also give them the advantage of playing at home. The last five games have been played at Michigan State. So scheduling advantage for them. You already mentioned Michigan State has a a uh, big revenge game against Oregon uh, in week two. You know, that's a game last year they were winning at one point. So, um, you know, these are college kids. You know, second half, they might take some plays off, be looking more towards that uh, Oregon game in week two. So for the uh, Western Michigan team, they returned 16 starters this year. They have a, a second-team Mac quarterback. Running back was Mac Offensive Player of the Year. Rod Receiver was a first-team uh Max selection as well. They have another six foot three wide receiver. The offense can score. Um, the defense, they look strong as well. They improved last year, 50 yards a game and uh, about 10, 10 points a game on defense as well. So I'm looking at Michigan State's offense. They lose Langford to the NFL as so a running back. He had 22 touchdowns last year. They lose their other uh, top two wide receivers to the NFL draft. So I don't think the offense will be clicking just as much. Um, I'm looking at the Michigan State defense. They lost their starting middle linebacker to an injury. He was a, a preseason All-American choice. And their secondary is young and inexperienced. Uh, they lose, lose all four guys out of the secondary. So, you know, I think, I think uh, the points are valuable in this game, Peter. 18 and a half, Western Michigan can score against the inexperienced secondary of Michigan State. I think we're seeing a close game here. Yeah, I agree with you, Brandon Chavley. And also, uh, you know, the total is 58 and a half. Now, I mentioned the year, the, uh, the 2013 game when these two teams played. That game went under, but that one had a total of 44. The final score wound up being 26, again, 26-13, 39 points. Here, the total is 58 and a half. Does that strike you as a little bit high? You think maybe the under might be a good uh, play here? Because I'm guessing that neither one of these teams wants this to be a high-scoring game. Michigan State just to keep uh, well, possessions low and get out of it as, as soon as possible, and, Mich and Western Michigan to keep it uh, to keep possessions low to try to steal a win. Yeah, that's that's true. I think that 2013 game, Western Michigan's offense wasn't as good as they are now. Yeah. I believe that team may have went 1-11 that year or something. They, they didn't have a good record. Their offense was terrible. I think this offense is a lot better. And I, I honestly think Michigan State's defense is, is, is not as good as in, as in that 2013 year. I believe they are only allowing – they're allowing under 17 points a game in 2013. So I don't think the defense is as good this year, honestly. And uh, I think the total is about right. There you go. This is what Brandon Chively does, identifying value. I think you've done it again here, Brandon Chively. Western Michigan currently plus 18 and a half is Brandon Chively's recommended play. I like this one as well. I'm going to bet it, and I'm going to put it on my permanent record for the purposes of our record keeping in these videos. Both me and Brandon Chively going official with Western Michigan plus 18 and a half. Thanks so much, Brandon.